Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are at uh, Sumiyoshi Taisha and uh, I took the bicycle and we just set off uh, to see the beautiful flowers that are blossoming in this season. So this is April end and uh, there should be some wisterias and uh, many flowers that are blossoming and blooming and uh, it's just a um, regular Saturday but uh, Sumiyoshi Taisha is a, a big uh, shrine so we want to go and check it out. So stay with us and uh, I will show you around all the beautiful things and uh, you will see how Japan turns into a beautiful, uh, what to say, colorful uh, country when it comes, uh, when spring comes, which is March, April, May. So let's go and check out. So guys, Sumiyoshi Taisha has a choice for, uh, you know, a tourist uh, spot. Uh, although it's a little bit away from Namba, but you know, this place is not so crowded like Kyoto and uh, Kobe, so or Namba. So, and also there is a good uh, shopping arcade, and there's this huge park, and there is this uh, temple, uh, Sumiyoshi Taisha, uh, which is one of the head temples of uh, this uh, place. So. Yeah, it's not at all a loss if you keep at least two to three hours uh, to visit this place uh, in your trip especially because you will be able to uh, taste the food feel the good energy and the vibes and take some fresh air so yeah this is very nice place I don't see many people crowding to Sumiyoshi Taisha but uh, this is one of the uh, not so visited places uh, which I wonder why, because Sumiyoshi Taisha is uh, way better than any other places where you have just a small shopping arcade. Uh, yeah, so it's not a loss if you put Sumiyoshi Taisha in your itinerary. Okay guys, so the path to the Sumiyoshi Taisha looks somewhat like this. And this one Shoten guy will go later. He, he's singing. And this is the tram line. See? This is a tram line. This place is beautiful. So peaceful. And look at that. You can go in the jungle and sit there for the whole day with a book in your hand. You can just read the book. Oh, I don't have the energy to read this kanji if you can. And there's lots of history written in Sumyoshi Taisha. You see? So guys, Sumiyoshi Taisha is also known as Sumiyoshi Grand Shrine and it is a Shinto shrine. Shinto is a religion in Japan and uh, only local trains stop in this uh, Nankai railway station uh, which is called the Sumiyoshi Taisha station. So you won't be able to come here if you take the rapid or uh, the super fast express trains. And this Sumiyoshi Taisha gets its name from one style of uh, shrine architecture called Sumiyoshi Zukuri and uh, this place is a national treasure on the grounds that it is the oldest example of this style of architecture. So this Taisha enshrines the Sumiyoshi Sanjin gods, uh, collectively known as the Sumiyoshi Okami. So there are three gods. And then also Oki Naga Tarashi Hime no Mikoto, uh, who is also known as the Empress Jingu. So uh, if you uh, go deeply and study about Shinto religion, you will know everything. Uh, I have very little idea, but whatever I know, that's, uh, that's what the gods name are.
ओके गाइस सो यू कैन बाय ओमी कुजी व्हिच इज अ यू नो फॉर्च्यून टेलिंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम हियर लाइक यू पे मनी एंड दे विल गिव यू अ पेपर एंड समथिंग गुड और बैड विल बी रिटन ऑन इट एंड देन यू कैन आल्सो बाय ओमा मोरी फ्रॉम हियर व्हिच इज लाइक इफ यू हैव सीन माय क्योटो व्लॉग इन एवरी टेंपल्स एंड श्राइन्स इन जापान दे पुट अप देयर विशेस लाइक दिस राइट एंड Of course, God considers them. So these are the kind of oh, huge! Now see, so many wishes. Like God will be busy reading them all. Beautiful, isn't it? And that's the Taisha. It's one of the oldest Shinto religion. There's this preparation going on. This is. This, I guess, is because of the position that will go out in the matsuri that they will have very soon. So the preparations are on. So there will be God inside and somebody from here on the front, four people on the back, five, six people. It's considered very auspicious to keep, carry the carriage on their shoulders. And this will be the biggest, biggest one, I guess. That will carry on their shoulders, and these are also the small ones. Like if it, it's a position, right? So small ones in the front, and then the big one, and then again small one followed. So if you get a chance, do check out the event calendars in the Sumiya Sitaisha website, and that one is the biggest one. Under preparation. So basically, this is how it looks like. And then again, we enter. The forest area. So we have this huge tree. It's a very old tree. And then we have this gate. Probably they are worshiping the tree, which we also do in Hindu religion. People tree and all that, banyan tree and all that. And then there's this dog guarding the gate. Okay guys so this is one of the power spots in Sumiyoshi Taisha and uh, you have to collect the stones that have these uh, kanjis written on them go dai riki so go dai riki is the name of the god and uh, he will answer all your prayers and all your wishes will come true if you can find these go dai riki written uh, stones uh, from this spot and once you find that uh, you can buy it has a special meaning so Uh, you can buy these pouches from the counter and put it up there and all your wishes will be uh, with all your dreams and wishes will come true so guys that was sumiyoshi taisha for you and uh, there is a small tram that plies in front of sumiyoshi taisha uh, which i want to show you so desperately because it's very very cute and if you get a chance just take a ticket and hop on 
uh, so that you can check the surrounding areas. Somehow I feel today was a very fruitful day. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's come. Okay, so this tram goes to Tennoji Ekimai. So it's flying from Tennoji Ekimai. And then another one is coming from Hamadera Ekimai. No, it's going to Hamadera Ekimai. Ah, this is so cute. Oh my god, I can't believe this. And look at this. This is what happens in Japan. Uh, does Indian train drivers or train conductors come down to help pick up the child? Never. But it does happen in Japan. Another act of kindness. This place is one of the places which I love the most in Osaka. One of my top favorite places because it's, of course, because it's not crowded. And he's selling mochi. He's singing and selling mochi. <laughs> Very interesting. And there are also few cafes uh, around this place. Definitely. Cute cafes where you can have your lunch or uh, coffee lots and lots of activities to do just because it's a uh, Inaka a village doesn't mean that uh, there is nothing to do it's totally totally traveler friendly so please do come here and check it out and then I will hop on my cycle and check out the other places in and around look for a good cafe to uh, drink coffee because it's already almost three o'clock <laughs> lovely place I'm out of the station and that's the small little shopping arcade so basically this is a very silent market and i'm the only one who is loud over here with a stick on my hand okay so these are the plastic replica foods that i was talking about on my other video you see these are the kind of foods. This is plastic. So if you go inside and order any one of them, they will serve you. And these are the real ones. What else do we have? We have uh, crockery. Again, kitchen utensils. No, thanks. Amazon. <laughs> so this is basically, uh, they have uh, fashion stores, fashion clothing stores uh, for the aged people and let's see what's the fashion of the aged people oh so these are the kind of fashion in the inaka uh, that's from italy uh, i shouldn't make a joke that's from italy and it cost 5100 yen okay so this red beads necklace is from italy and it costs 5100 yen and I think I kind of like it. Beautiful, isn't it? It's very Indian though. Looks like a Raja Maharaja necklace. And then they have power stones. Guys, do you know what Aflac is? Aflac is an insurance, life insurance company. I mean, it, I think it's a plan, Aflac. So there's MetLife, there's Aflac. So if you're interested, you can get an insurance uh, apart from the normal insurance that you're paying in the government city. Uh, 
so that you know you get some tax rebates and all that at the end of the year if you have a separate insurance and life insurance is always good so i must say if you're visiting sumiyoshi taisha it's not only just the shrine you have some good restaurants to eat at, and also some good shopping to be done over here if you need souvenirs and all that they definitely have it's a long market these are the hello kitties and all that made of wool so you see in i guess half the market is closed because of uh, the weekend saturday you know people in the inaka the villages they don't open oh look at that jewelry they don't work on weekends they have they prefer to stay spend time with their families sushi yeah so the so shotan guy is uh, half of it is closed today but it's okay there's enough shops like i'm already tired walking So guys I'll share one uh, experience with you there was one point of time in my life when I used to love the colors black and white and I used to think that was trendy and uh, everything that I used to use at that point of time was either black or white in color until I experienced the first spring in Japan and that changed my perspective about my whole life completely lots of started uh, I opened up to the world and lots of uh, colors started coming into my life and i think that was the turning point in my life uh, when i uh, truly uh, started feeling the freedom in the true sense So that is an Ankai station of Sumiyoshi Taisha. There is this office in Sumiyoshi Taisha Park, and it's written "Rent a Cycle." So you see, you come straight from there, and all the way down, and this is the par, uh, the office. And then, if you come from the Nankai Station, you just take your left. That's the Nankai Station. So you take your left, and you come here, and you can rent a cycle over here. So guys, the sakura flowers are all gone, but uh, uh, right after sakura comes the wisteria flowers, which are purple colored flowers, uh, not the ones that are behind me. It's a hanging flower and they bloom. And also month of March, April and May are the best season to visit Japan. Uh, A, because it's full of colors, uh, full of different kinds of flowers bloom blooming. And B, it's not very cold or hot. So it's like suzushi, very uh, moderate uh, climate you don't have to carry heavy jackets and all that which means your luggage will be lighter and uh, of course not to mention the the most beautiful time of the year when every nooks and corners is filled with uh, flowers blooming bloomed flowers so this is the best time for you to come uh, however there is one golden week holidays in the month of may every year so might as well check that and avoid the golden week holidays because everywhere you go it will be crowded so maybe you have to spend a lot of time standing in the queues and all that so apart from that uh, if you want to come to japan visit japan march april and october are the best times 
So guys, if you don't know, these are the Nemophila plants and in Japan during spring, uh, lots of places cultivate this plant uh, for the tourists especially to give them a tourist spot to visit and take pictures because it looks uh, so pretty, it looks like an ocean of flowers, purple flowers. So guys, uh, there is this huge pond in Tsumiyoshi Taisha Park and uh, there is one particular pond which is protected and I can see lots of tortoise in the pond. So tortoise is considered very lucky for the Japanese people. So I'm not sure of the exact reason but there must be some religious belief to it. Tortoise is also lucky for Hinduism and I also believe the tortoise brings lots of uh, good luck, wealth and fortune. So yeah. It's good that uh, tortoise has been banned for eating in India. Uh, I haven't seen anybody eating tortoise meat in Japan either. Uh, I have always seen them in the, like, you know, preserving them in the, in the shrines or um, temples. Let's see. So guys you will like this place a lot because there will be lots of children playing around and there will be a few friends who are walking around talking about their life and their achievements and then uh, a stone that is trying to speak to you and tell you the history through the engraved uh, kanjis and also uh, the friendly dogs that you meet who gives you a high five and goes without even if you're not their owner so if you're depressed and stressed uh, this is one of the places that you must visit and this is one of the places uh, that i can promise has a lot of positive energy which will take you uh, refresh you and take you a long way in realizing where your life is standing now Another park outside uh, the Sumiyoshi Taisha, just uh, when you cross the road, and uh, it's all sakuras which has already fallen. But I think this one is a watchtower or a shrine uh, or a tower dedicated to the king. And then there are housing complexes around Sumiyoshi Taisha. So if you're interested. These are all housing complexes and government houses also. There is Lawson. It's not a place, inconvenient place. But it's inconvenient if you have to attend office early morning. Like, you know, it's a nombiri shiteru tokoro, like the village. No time limits, no, no time bounds. There are buses fly over here. And this is basically how cycling in Japan looks and there's a red signal so I have to stop. I'm thoroughly enjoying this day and uh, one or two months from now I will enjoy because it will be springtime after until after that it's gonna become cold again and uh, we have to put on the thick sweaters and jackets again so until then I will visit lots of places and bring lots of videos to you so please subscribe to my channel bye bye